everyone welcome back to our esp32 programming series in today's video we are going to talk about a crucial step uh, that is setting up our our necessary environment for the wi-fi uh, connectivity so let's uh, open up the arduino id and open the library manager so you need to go to tools and click on manage libraries you'll see a lot of libraries uh, over here and it might take a while because uh, there will be a lot of uh, other libraries that are related to the Arduino IDE pre-installed and as you can see that there it's uh, indexing some libraries at the moment and updating as well uh, so we'll have to wait until it is done so it looks like it's done now you can search for here over here for Wi-Fi So once you search for Wi-Fi, it'll start searching automatically. Now the thing, the the thing about the Wi-Fi library is that it's mostly pre-installed. In case if it is not installed in your in your part, okay, built in by Arduino, okay, which which always tells you that it's built in. Uh, I would not recommend you. In some cases. Uh, some of the advanced professionals have this uh, Wi-Fi library uninstalled and then uh, they try to uh, you know they have various issues because uh, sometimes we do forget to install it back so that's how we would uh, add the Wi-Fi library next we are going to start typing the code so let's uh, actually go to the void setup and we're going to try and connect uh, a system directly to the Wi-Fi so there are two parts which are needed one is the SSID and next is the password so SSID is basically your uh, it's basically your Wi-Fi name and the password is the Wi-Fi password so these two parts are the most important for the connectivity so let's uh, let's let's decide on so in case if you know what is your Wi-Fi name and your password for in my case I know that my uh, Wi-Fi name is uh, e simplified and my Wi-Fi password is just one two three four five six seven eight so I'm just going to write here constant character a pointer and say SSID equal to E simplified and it's a string. Similarly, you can do the same thing for the Wi Fi password as well. So you can write here pass equal to the password. And the most important part uh, in the library is that there is a, a, a keyword which says Wi-Fi dot begin and we are going to do it in the void setup because we want it to be done only once Wi-Fi dot begin when we write Wi-Fi dot begin we are basically going to write SSID because it needs the SSID there are two parameters to it SSID and the password so after we are done with this we are going to actually wait till the the, the status goes to uh, true so we'll wait for it we'll use the while loop which says while Wi-Fi status okay which means Wi-Fi status is not equal to wireless LAN connected okay while this is this is not I mean not connected so we'll keep trying we'll add a small delay we'll just serial dot print Okay, and we'll just print saying that it's 
connecting to the Wi-Fi. Okay, this message could be anything. It's um, it's just a normal serial print. So since we are mentioning about uh, serial print in our white setup, we will have to write serial dot begin because if we do not write these keywords uh, we will okay and i'll set the baud rate to 15200 if you do not write serial dot begin we'll have an error by the arduino id and and the error will be on this line which will say that it does not know what is serial so after that once we are out of this while loop once it is connected we'll just serial print connected that's it for now this is all that we got so what we have done is we have basically uh, installed the Wi-Fi library now here if you want you can actually say hash include Wi-Fi dot H okay and then uh, save the sketch all right I'm just going to save the sketch you can name it anything that you want I've just saved it because uh, this code is not going to be of any use this is just going to be for testing your Wi-Fi connectivity now it's time we can it's time we upload the code so select your board and make sure that your board is available on the com port and just hit upload while uploading you might notice that there are some factors like it takes a while for the first time for the compilation like i have always said in the beginning it's it, it's it's only for the first time it's only for the first time where you notice that the compilation takes longer than the next consecutive second third and the fourth time so after a while i've noticed that it has finally started writing the data onto the esp32 and it's done so now it's fair enough to check it whether it's really connected to the wireless network or not so in order to check that we will have to click on tools and go to serial monitor now as you see that it's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi and it's printing it uh, horizontally um, let's try to do this in a better way so I'll just change this to serial print ln uh, which stands for new line and once it is connected we are just going to print it once so we are not going to change that to a new line since that is in a while loop there it's going on printing connecting to wi-fi so once again i'm going to upload this code All right, so now the code is successfully uh, uploaded and you can open the serial monitor or use this shortcut which is control shift and N, M. So it's just saying connecting to Wi-Fi. Now you need to press the enable button. So it will say connecting to Wi-Fi and just wait. Just changes to connected. It looks like uh, I'm trying to run this. I am unable to connect because the expected output is that it should say connected once it is onto the network. Now, in case if it is uh, not 
showing you the actual status it's just remaining here on connecting to Wi-Fi I would like you to check first of all for whether the wireless network is still running or you can come here back and check for your SSID name and password so I'm going to verify that my SSID uh, Wi-Fi name and password looks fine uh, I'm going to actually check for my my wireless network looks like my wireless network is actually inactive I just turned it on now and there you go it actually changed to connected the moment I uh, turned it on so let me just restart it again and there you go let's see yeah there you go now it says connected so which means it is now connected to the network e simplified and one two three four five six that's the password to my uh, Wi-Fi all right so basically all you got to do is you could have the same code for yourself and change the Wi-Fi SSID name and your password in this code so in case if you have any trouble you can mention this into the comment section whatever problems you've been facing and I'll see you in the next segment where I'm going to specifically talk about how we can uh, control digital and analog and some other uh, parts with the ESP32 uh, and also talk about its uh, different specifics uh, in the next segment. Alright, so in order to get the next video, stay subscribed to my channel and hit the like button if you liked it. And thank you. Have a good day.